Hi, my name is Juan Pantojama, a professional makeup artist in Central Florida. Today we're going to be talking about airbrush tips for Halloween makeup. If you have an airbrush compressor, um, of course, normally airbrush you can use for a lot of different things, uh, hobby, helmet, painting, art, retouching, different things. For makeup, you want to make sure you have makeup uh, for airbrush. Not all makeup you can run through the airbrush, you want to need to have a specific consist consistency, more like a skill mi milk, very liquidy. Um, there are different types of airbrush makeup. You have alcohol based, you have water based, silicone based. It will all have different coverage and stuff. For today, I'm going to use, start using a silicone based makeup, which is going to be kind of like waterproof. So you can go out all night, it's not going to go anywhere. You can wear it all day long, all night, and it's not moving anywhere. Different things that you want to have when you're airbrushing um, you can go to a craft store and they will sell stencil sets where this stuff will help you create different textures and patterns on the face that will look very organic. Um, or you can get stencils on a hair salon where you can get one for brows to create different shapes of brows in different areas of the skin. Um, in my case, I made my own. You can get stencil plastic from the craft store and you can create any pattern you want. When you're creating more character makeups or aliens or that kind of things, the patterns doesn't really matter as long as you have a pattern. It doesn't have to be a specific shape. Every shape will look organic as long as you can get some kind of flow, nothing too harsh, very nice, soft and blended. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab some uh, paint and start doing some colors just so you can see how the makeup and the paint will flow on the skin. Normally for airbrush makeup, you want to keep your pressure on your compressor between 3 and 12 PSI. You want to go that high because if not, it's going to be too intense for your customer. You don't want that. So when you want to airbrush on the face, you want to start outside and then go inside. Keeping a distance, always keep your eyes closed. Keeping a distance of about 6 inches. And you're going to see the colors are going to go more blended and soft on the skin. And from there on, you can keep combining colors, fill the entire face, uh, neck, chest, arms, everything you see a skin, you can cover with airbrush. It's very easy, very quick. It's a nice, quick way to do a nice character makeup. My name is Juan Pantoja, and I'm a professional makeup artist in Central Florida area.